Hidden CCTV cameras are being installed inside homes in London to film antisocial behaviour outside. Croydon Council says the cameras are being used to gather evidence on groups of youths who've been making life miserable for residents. Civil rights campaigners, however, say it's a further step to a big brother society. Well, Mark Ashdown's in Croydon for us now, as you can see. Mark. Well, yes, Riz, the chances are if you live in London, then part of your public life, at least, will have been caught on one of these, a CCTV camera. But now Croydon Council has gone a step further. It's asking some residents to install these cameras in their private homes in a bid to keep an eye on antisocial behaviour in their communities. So is this the next chapter in Neighbourhood Watch or the Big Brother State gone too far? You are being watched. With 77 fixed cameras alone, the people of Croydon are already among the most filmed in London. So how would they feel if asked to put one inside their own homes? Uh, that's a bit too big brother for me, I think. It's um, a real invasion of your privacy, so I'm absolutely not for that. In your house, it's not acceptable because that's your privacy, your house. If it was outside on your street, basically, I think you should have it on your street. If the CCTV is here, then maybe I could walk down the street back in more of a safer mind. Why do they have to put it in the house, though? Why not just outside the house? That's the question, really. <laughs> what do you think of it? An invasion of privacy. Antisocial behaviour captured on camera. This is the kind of thing Croydon wants to target. Some feel using private homes is a step too far. The worry is that if we, if we start to make it acceptable to hide more and more cameras, because right now cameras are, are, are not, out in the street, you can see where they are, they have signs often, but if we're going to start hiding cameras inside people's homes, then we will create this atmosphere where you never know when you are being filmed. And that is a, is a, is a, is a way of making people not feel free. That's being spied upon. It's creepy to live in a world like that. Y3K sells cameras to businesses and individuals, ranging from £20 up to 1000 Lately, trade has never been better. Not only, obviously, are you protecting your property more, but I think you're giving yourself your own peace of mind as well. I think it gives you more confidence in your home. Um, but are you protecting your property if you can't see, if the villains can't see them? Uh, well, most people will, would have put a sign up to say that they're got CCTV in operation and, and hopefully that's the visual deterrent. In order to prosecute people you need to get evidence. Now we've stepped up patrols in the area, there's a dispersal zone to try and stop groups of young people co uh, congregating, so we have done some proactive things but ultimately we do need to get the evidence and cameras are one way in which we can go about doing that. If the pilot works well, more cameras could follow, though Croydon insists it would never impose them. So ultimately, you decide. Well, that's right. And earlier we asked you for your emails, and I've got some of them here now. Alex from Harrow says, I think it's a good idea to have CCTV. It acts as a deterrent and helps monitor your property. Ricky says, it's a good thing in places where there's regular criminal activity. My 13-year-old son was mugged last week in full view of the camera, says Liz from Enfield, but we were told there was no way the shots could provide reliable ID. What's the point in putting these up if you can't recognise anyone from the pictures? And finally, Maureen says, a great idea, as long as it's used honestly. Thanks very much for all your views. Riz, back to you. Yes, yeah, some interesting thoughts there. Uh, th Mark, thanks very much indeed.